What's going on guys? Welcome back to the Ultimate Road to Glory series. I don't know if you can tell already, but I am sweating buckets. So humid in my room, I can barely breathe. And towards the end of this episode, I might be really red. So yeah, don't judge me. I'm doing this video for you guys. I was going to record in the morning, honestly. I was waiting for some of the Bundesliga prices to settle. And I think I've picked up, I wouldn't say bargains, but definitely can either break even or make uh, some potential coins. Stindel being one of them, his man of the match that I tried, not so long ago as a centre mid quality card really did dictate the play and he has a centre forward with 82 defending his his card for a hundred thousand coins is amazing and I'm going to be playing him in a cam position bit more advanced than a sense mid just so I can test out how he's like in a tight situation see if he can work the ball his dribbling looks great shooting not to even mention like what a card man so we've got a good episode today and one thing that I wanted to speak about is a Bamyang do you remember how long we had him for at the club probably over 400 500 games I loved his finishing any Bamyang card really overpowered in front of goal his pace wasn't even an issue really uh, some people say that he doesn't feel as quick as his card it was his dribbling for me the balance and the agility you couldn't really maneuver him well so that's why I had players like Lucas at the time Martial around him to support and create the chances feed the beast pretty much feed the beast so I'm hoping with this team of the season that 94 dribbling makes me want to pick up the card but I do not want to spend 1.8 million and the reason why these team of the seasons especially the Bundesliga ones aren't dropping is for the fact that everyone's like caught cottoned on to the idea of doing the SPCs the untradeable ones they they give out man so all you have to do is put in 11 rare cards and you get back uh well three rare specific to the league and then non-rare cards that you can just keep recycling in the two player upgrade one it's uh it's a vicious cycle man you do get addicted but i've unlocked another five today so we did five of these for the premier league and then i did another five got a bit carried away so we're doing another lot for the bundesliga i probably will do it for each league see if we can uh, test our luck a little bit so let's start off come on i wouldn't mind any blue you know the uh, i think it's the shalka left back kolasinic uh he got himself a left mid card which is ah uh, it's a shame they didn't release him as a left wing back so we could have converted him to a left back what a really nice card wasted as a left mid in my opinion so let's go and open the bundesliga pack number one will we see that walkout to start things off no it could still be a blue it's definitely not a blue unless i've gone color blind no it's horn that's pretty horn. No, it's pretty horn. What am I, what am I even saying? Um, anyway, yeah, Adler, not great. It's just not good. So if you've been doing this yourselves, let me know in the comment section what you guys have got. Even tweet me, at Fuji720P, or YT is my Twitter handle. So anyway, four packs remaining. Are we going to see a blue? Yes! We've got a walkout. No way, no way. Imagine if it's... Like, that, that was German. That was German. Yes, it's blue. Come on, please, please, please. Who's, who is that? It is German. Who's it going to be? Who's it going to... Goalkeeper. Oh, it could have been Neuer. We've got a blue though. It's, it's Bullman. Bullman? Bauman? I think it's Bauman. Yeah. Um, I'll use him. I'll, I'll just use him today. Check him out. We actually hit a blue. That's pretty awesome. I would never buy him off the market. So, you know, that's, that's a good blue. How tall is he? Six foot two, which isn't bad actually. I think um, Loris is six foot two and I used him for ages. Now I've moved over to uh, De Gea. Looks good, man. I would have loved Neuer, not going to lie, but that's still a really good pull. So thank you very much, EA. We've actually hit a blue. Can we get ourselves a back-to-back -back blue? Can we? No. Uh, no. No, we don't. Oh, man, that walkout got me hyped. When I saw German, I did see the flag. It could have been, like, Stindl, which would have been amazing. Werner, that I would have just sold on again because i went and purchased his card so you can see now why not many bundesliga cards well team of seasons are on the market everyone keeps doing these right next one two to go we could still hit another blue is it going to be another blue i know that um guerrero he is an, a walkout so we could get him and speaker of Brisha dortmund we got his teammate schmelzer yeah and nobody else last one it is will the luck continue Three, two, one. No. 
No. All right. I'll take one out of five. I think that's a good return, to be honest. And it's someone that we will be using in today's episode. I want to go and speak about foot champs and our position right now. I haven't played any games, but I want to speak about top 100 monthly. So like I mentioned, we haven't started any of our games. And honestly, I wasn't really in the position to play FIFA at the time. And I'm going to be waiting until later on tonight when the gameplay feels a little bit better. I was on my main account yesterday. I played a few and it didn't feel great. It wasn't like the worst it's ever been. It didn't feel up to standard though and a lot of people have been complaining it's one of those weekends where we don't need to stress too much our monthly overall standing is looking fantastic 109 wins so bear in mind friday's gone saturday is pretty much over and we have 40 games um well in hands against these guys like even kurtz down here foot with louis 117 so we are eight games behind these guys that i don't know how many they've got left but we've got 40 in hand. So all that we need, I think maybe I, I over-exaggerated how many we need, really. I was aiming for like 31, 32, maybe even like 25 will do us. I, I have no idea. So I'm going to be playing properly, though. And uh, yeah, we'll see how we can get on there. Let's go and have a look at the team that I put together. A couple of team of seasons that I really wanted to try. So uh, yeah, let's go to the team. I've just noticed that Bauman has worse stats than an 86 in form. How does that make any sense? And I honestly thought maybe because of his key Kicking is so low, his other stats would be a lot better, but that's not the case. Diego Alves beats him fair and square, so for an 88, mm, he doesn't look that great. Although, we're only going to be playing him for today's episode, so if he's bad, yeah, he's gone. Uh, let's drop him in in replacement of Buffon, and the rest of the team is looking pretty nice. And Stindl, wow. What can you say about this card? 132,000 coins, which is a great price for these stats. 96 shot incredible and he's got four star weak foot which that is dangerous 94 passing great 95 dribbling 89 physical defending high up the pitch and even the pace isn't so bad i would recommend playing him as a center mid i loved his man of the match card there with this team of the season though will he be able to cut it in an advanced position let's find out 132k good price and the other card is Werner. I was always a fan of his non-inform, and then he received informs and that, and it didn't really do anything for me. I, I've had experience with so many other players that are better than him. This team of season, though, he was extinct to 300,000 coins because they messed up his price range, and he's slowly gone up now. So 100, uh, 330, 340 why is he so expensive anyway 314 we picked him up for so there is room to make some profit or break even and the rest of the team i got de rossi and as we don't really use el shirari that much i thought well today i will get the hyperlink with de rossi and i'll change up the formation in game into a 41212 so let me just quickly check to see if i got my custom tactics set uh no there you go so every single time it's a shame that you don't have like copy custom tactics that would be very very helpful so i don't have to do this every single time but they haven't changed still got 60 shooting free form positioning i'm actually going to be playing with 50 uh 60 uh pressure today i used to i used to play with 60 pressure and i dropped it down a little bit because the gameplay wasn't great and i wasn't able to control and play a switch properly but let's see what it's like in divisions so here we go guys uh, not one of the easiest of teams to be faced up against sanchez ericsson mané all in the attack oh i'm hope i'm able to play well today that's it pass verna oh he's taken past him good set up to el shirari oh unlucky uh yeah good speed from verna there do one twos verna he wants to be the offside trap gonna put that ball through across verna yes let's go that's all i want just someone who can finish and with that pace he's gonna be difficult and yeah, he does have the trait to be offside trap. He should always be on the run. It's all about adapting your style to this gameplay today. If you're playing, well, you would have played yesterday. Um, if you're finding it hard just to play your natural game, it's because you can't play how you would usually play. You just got to slow it down a little bit. That's going to be a nice ball. Stindle trying to use his power to rush through. I wonder what that 83 defending is going to be like higher up the pitch. Uh, if he can make those sort of clean tackles. That's a really good turn, man unlucky that was a good turn nice and smooth oh well from a corner nothing i could have done what under rossi good tackle it is incredibly difficult right now just to really find an opening 
will create some sort of chance. El Shrari outside the box though, wow, great finish. And I really liked him when I first uh, unlocked the card for, I think it was about 200, 300,000 coins. Had him in a 4 2 three, one side, he's good. So we did go back into lead with that El Shirari long shot. And I wouldn't say the attack uh, is playing bad at all. I am actually enjoying it. Stindall feels solid. I'm gonna bring on Kante though for De Rossi. His stamina levels really do drop off. So with the team that we've come up against, I'm gonna have to. El Shirari. Passing it over to Werner. You can see how long the ball takes to really get to my uh, players. He's got the speed dribbler trait, so he can move really quickly. I like change directions when he's sprinting. And I've worked that really well. Stindall should have got a goal. Stindall on the edge of the box. I'm wanting to set the shot with Stindall. He's quite strong, though. He can hold his own. And that was absolutely awful. But El Shirari, though. Can we cut that back? Is anybody there? Stindall with the finesse. Okay, that was not a finesse. Oh, 90 minutes. And I've conceded a long shot. And to be honest, my goal was a long shot. And it's been one of those games. Neither of us have done anything spectacular. All right, here we go. Can we get one more chance and put this in? I've got Werner. Finesse. Oh. So although it finished 2-2, there were literally zero highlights. Well, four highlights which were the goals very difficult to find an opening to work a chance because it's so slow and you're seriously predictable ah uh, yeah it's basically weekend league gameplay so this is the best time to test out these players how are they going to play under those conditions fingers crossed that this game feels a little bit better he has an eto and sterling squad with the podolski that i didn't really like podolski's inform or non-inform then he received that purple card which looked really nice never got around to trying it though Good challenge. Here we go. Werner. One twos with El Shirari. Can we can we put that through? Oh, what a ball. Go on, Stindall. Well played. That was a really nice pass from um, Werner. I didn't think that was on, to be honest. Maybe his defender should have got a block, but Stindall is not complaining. First goal for him. That's it. De Rossi, hold on to it. Put that across. Who's that back post? Oh, El Shirari. Walker, I think that's his first goal for the club. Seriously, so that's awesome. Oh, Werner. Good interception. Rudy, ping that ball over to El Shrari. Let's hit him with a Berber spin. I've got Stindle there, linking up the play. El Shrari. Yes, go and pass it across. Werner inside the box. He is dangerous. That was a nice uh, weak footed strike. He feels better than his non inform. Definitely, and his inform card. His inform was a letdown. It's always the games that feel good, my opponents rage quit in. Damn. Right, moving into another one. So this guy is rolling with the 4 triple two formation, SBC Higuain. I don't really like Higuain's card unless it's the most recent. Uh, man of, was it man of the match? He was quality for me. Really good card. Oh my god. Go, go, go. One twos. That's it. And one two again. Oh, I was right. I was so lucky, man. Rubbish goal. So many rebounds and unfortunate like nicks on the way through. I'm not that comfortable attacking, but I'm gonna take a goal. Ready? Give it over to him. One two. Stindle. Yeah, maybe that's that's the tackling. What is it doing? I've literally shot. I've I literally shot that and it didn't register it. Wow. Okay. <laughs> Fair enough. That is so weird, man. He was just stuck there. De Rossi, Werner, through ball. Oh, look at... I think I've scored two very poor quality goals. Rebounds. That's what it's all about today. That's it, Rudy. Well played. Werner again. Is he in behind? Can he use his strength? He's getting some strength from somewhere. What the hell is going on there? How did he get... How did he keep possession? That's what I want to know. That was well played. I think El Shirari's in a good position. Rudy! And it's going to be three. I'm going to leave that whole segment in where Werner, I accidentally flicked the stick back and then he chased the ball down all the way to the halfway line. He's quick and he's getting some strength out of somewhere. So I'm happy with the way the attack is playing once again in this game. Stindle, keeping it simple, just sitting there in a nice position, passing. Haven't really been able to test his long shots though, so that's what I'm going to do in, uh, in the second half. Go on, Stindle. Make a run. Through ball, through ball, through ball. Oh, he's used his strength to barge through. 
El Shirari with one of the worst headers. I don't even think that's classed as a header. That's how bad it was. One of the games for me where someone's put their controller down. I'm going to take a finesse though with Stindle. Oh. Full time guys and we have come away with the win. I'm not feeling Stindle in a can position though. Lack of skills, lack of pace and his medium medium work rate seem to be affecting him a little bit. I want him to be overlapping to get in front of goal. So I'm going to drop him back to a centre mid spot where I would naturally play him and see how he gets on. So what I'll do in this game is sub off Rudy and bring on Suarez and then just switch around those positions. So Suarez will be the cam and we'll have probably De Rossi CDM will centre mid and yes, yeah, Dindle centre mid. Werner through. Yes, Suarez, water ball. Werner, can he get there in front? Oh God, he nearly messed that up. But yeah, he, at least he got on the end of it. That's it. Go on, Werner. Just keep running, just keep running. Uh, try to dip. He's, is he going to still win that? Yeah, he's just really like, just quick. Very, very quick. I'm going to lay that back over to him with that weak foot. Too slow to power up. Is that a penalty? Wow. Winners takers, here we go. Yes, good pen. I was going to put it a little bit closer towards the keeper in case he dived and it would have gone underneath him. That's a good flick. And again, through. Go on, Werner. Yes, go, 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 go. Oh, my. Wow, okay. So what did that clip show you? Pace, power, strength, finishing, kind of long shots because that was just outside the box. He pushed off Smalling and that's a hard task. The only real chances that my opponent has created are from corners, really. Well, two corners for him, one corner for me. Um, yeah, hasn't really done too much to test me. We're in control, we're dominating play. Let's get more goals. This is where he's a little slow though, you can see. But then you'd stick on a shadow camera style, wouldn't you? You wouldn't play him with, uh, with like basic. I don't think I'm playing him with basic though. Through ball. Oh no, it's Werner on the run. He's already scored. Good hold up play. Wow, that was so composed from El Shirari. I was going to lay it over to Hullet. No, stop the ball. That's it, through. Werner, dip past Clichy. Is that, oh, I was, I was looking at Clichy's name and then I wasn't concentrating on the angle that I was supposed to take the strike. I was wondering who that was because he blitzed past him. Yeah, that was a terrible shot, my bad. Hullet's coming across. What a walk up. Gee, that lag spike was horrible. I think he's going to shoot that. I knew, I had a feeling he was going to shoot it. 3-1, the game is over, and I'm glad. Second half, it was very bad. Lag spikes and freezing, very, very poor. But Werner, he did turn up in that game, and he got some more goals. So what did I think of the players that we used in today's episode? Bauman, team of the season, he was all right. I wouldn't tell you guys and advise you to go and purchase any special item when it's a goalkeeper. You don't tend to notice any difference there. He was all right, though. He definitely wasn't one of the worst that I've used, so he's good. I wouldn't waste coins, though. Rudy played well in today's episode. Stindle, I like him. I actually like him. And if you're someone that isn't really reliant on so much pace in a sentiment position to add pressure to your opponent, you're going to get a lot out of his passing, vision, he can hold on to possession. He's a good card man, and occasionally he will get into those uh, goal scoring uh, positions to crack a long shot. I loved his man of the match card, and he does feel a little bit better. So give him a go. I'm sure you guys will get on with him. And under the conditions that we played, very slow, sluggish, weak in league gameplay. How did these players like step up to uh, to the play? And Werner. You saw what he did to Smallin. Man, he blitzed past him. Showed great strength, power, and his finishing. He, he does feel a lot better than his previous cards. Would I spend 314,000 coins on him? Well, I did, but I wouldn't. 220, even like 200,000 coins, I would say would be like cutoff. He's good, but not like 300,000 coins worthy. Four games, five goals, three assists. He uh, he was a good card, and I'd recommend him for 200k. He's got a cracking shot on him, and that's for sure. So anyway, guys, I'm going to be selling on every single one of those items, apart from the goalkeeper, who is obviously untradeable. Let me know if you've been trying out any of these Bundesliga cards. Drop them in the comments and recommend me uh, some to give a go. I don't know what I want to do about Aubameyang, though. I do want to buy him, but not for like 1.7 mil. That's just a stupid price. Thanks for watching, though, guys. Drop a like on the video, and I will see you soon. Team out. Peace.